Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Speaker Table Setup, I'm going to show you how you can easily identify speakers at the start of every job using the Speaker Table. I'm in Eclipse and I'm first going to open up my user settings, go to the Translate tab, and click on Master Speaker List. Here what I want to do is set up all of my default speaker tokens. This way I can use the same speakers in the same place for each job, and I can just fill in the default speaker token with the real name when appropriate. So for speaker one, I'm going to put in speaker one because this is how my dictionary definition is defined as well, and I'll show you that next. I'm going to do the same thing for speakers two, three, and four. So now I have all four of my default speaker tokens, which appear in my dictionary, ready and loaded in my speaker table to be used in the future. I'm gonna press okay to save that, and I'll press okay again. And so next, if I open my main dictionary, once in my main dictionary, I can hit F5, type in open curly bracket, capital S colon, to find all of my speakers. And you see that here I have speaker one, speaker two, speaker three, and speaker four set up exactly the same way as I had in my speaker table. So next, I'm going to start a translation that will allow me to fill in these speakers. I'll press Alt-T. I have a note file that I've made already for this purpose, and this function will work in real time or if you're doing quick tran or tran and edit. So I'm going to do quick tran to translate my already existing file. So I'm going to press OK to begin the translation. And you see that I'm given the option to fill in my speaker table. Since I have these default master tokens in my speaker list, and there was no dictionary present with matching current tokens, I'm given the option to fill this out at the start of my translation. And you'll get this same window if you're starting real time. In order to add your speakers, all you need to do is click in the box at the top, type in the name exactly as you'd like it to appear, and press enter. I'm going to type in the next name, hit enter. Type in the third name and press enter. And type in the fourth name and press enter. And after I press enter here, I'm going to press OK. And my translation is complete. And when I press OK, you see that all of my speakers have been identified by the names that I specified. Now, of course, if you use this function, there's no reason you can't add additional speakers that aren't already in your dictionary as master speaker tokens. You can still add as many speakers either via global link or editing as you need to. This just allows you to have your core set of speakers set up from the beginning. Since in my user settings, translate, speaker list, I have save in and load from checked. These entries are in my job dictionary. You see that all four of my speakers are listed in the job dictionary, and so I can use this dictionary again to reuse the same speakers going forward. I'm going to press Alt-T again, and this time I'm going to choose a different note file. And instead of using the default job dictionary, I'm going to click Dictionaries. I'm going to click the job dictionary and change. And I'm going to select the speaker table dictionary that I saved all of my speaker entries into already. I'll press OK. And this time when I do quick tran, since I already have a current entry for all of my master speaker tokens, it's just going to translate the file. And I'm not asked to fill in my speakers at the beginning again. And you see that again, all four of the speakers have automatically translated correctly. If you use different speaker tokens for each job, this system might not work for you, However, if you have a standard set of speaker tokens that you use that are defined in your dictionary, you can load them into the Translate tab in the Master Speaker list. Simply make sure that whatever you have in the Master side matches the entry that you have in your dictionary exactly. And so again, if I look at my dictionary entries for speakers, you see that all of these entries are exactly the same. They have initial cap speaker, no space, and then the number, just like I see in my speaker list. 
And so it's important that when you're doing this, whatever you have in your dictionary matches exactly what you put in the master speaker list. Otherwise, Eclipse will not be able to make the replacements appropriately. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.